This is Ed McMahon inviting you to join Larry and his guests, Emma Sands, Fred Travelina, and from the San Diego Zoo, Joan Embry. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Larry. Hi, I'm your host, Larry. This is my sidekick, Daryl. <laughs> And this is my band leader, Daryl. <laughs> You're looking good, Daryl. We should get some nuclear guys to come out and take a reading on that outfit. <laughs> oh, good to see you, Tommy. <laughs> Did you know the practice of hibernating began when Tommy walked into the woods one day and started to talk to the animals? <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight. Emma Sams is with us. Yaha! Fred Travelina. And a visit from Joan Embry from the San Diego Zoo. So let's get to it. Okay. We're back. Good to see you, Daryl. I was looking through the paper and I came across this article, 30 Ways to Skin a Weasel. Now, Daryl, I bet you think that every conceivable way to skin a weasel is covered in this article. <laughs> you are wrong, Possum Breath. <laughs> I have a whole ton of other ways right here, but they're not worth doing. <laughs> Oops, sorry, that's more of a Letterman thing. <laughs> Now, my first guest is always a pleasure to have with us from the San Diego Zoo, Miss Joan Embry. Nice to see you, Larry. Hi. And may I say, you smell much better than you'd think for a lady in your line of work. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Tonight, I brought you a couple of very exotic birds from South America called the Cylindillid. Now, wait till you see their color. It's just incredible. It might take them a couple of seconds to adjust to the light, though. They're gone! What happened? I don't know. Where could they have... Daryl? <laughs> have you been in between meals snacking on our animal guest? <laughs> And Tommy, I hope I don't find out you've been involved in this. I can't believe those guys did this. I told them how rare these birds were. Oh, that explains it. Daryl thought you meant medium rare. <laughs> anyway, since Joan has screwed up, Let's move on to my next guest, the versatile Fred Travelina. Hi, Larry. Great to see you. Fred, you're an amazing impressionist. They say you can do anyone. Oh, thanks. Can you do a little bit of Herbie Crooker for us? <laughs> Who? Herbie Crooker. He's always hanging out in front of the feed store. Why do you hear this? No, uh, 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 Larry, I'm afraid I, I don't know him. <laughs> Oops, sorry. I appear to have exposed you as a fraud on national television. <laughs> wait, wait. I know. I know I can do it. <laughs> Daryl. I'll do Daryl. Daryl's my brother, and for a second there, I couldn't tell the difference. Uh-oh. What's that, Freddy? My producer's giving me the signal to move on. My next guest is a big-time movie star and one fabulous babe, Emma Sams. <laughs> now, Daryl, I know you like our guests. But the FCC has very strict rules about sidekick seating. 
Hi, Larry. It's nice to meet you. Same here. Now, I know you do a lot of TV and films, but I'm wondering what someone like you does in her spare time. Well, when I'm not working, I live a pretty normal life. You know, I like to do things like uh, go out in the backyard and roll around in the mud. <laughs> really? Yeah. And I like to play games, you know, things like a large fight. And, uh, name that stain. <laughs> oh, and after a nice downpour, you'll always find me out romping in the nearest bog. Wow. I know you're not going to believe this, but I'm into a whole lot of those same things. <laughs> oh, come on. I mean, every time I've seen you post, you've always come off like some glitzy Hollywood type. Well, I must admit, I do have that side to me. But part of me is as normal as you. Did you ever play Let's See If This Is Edible? All the time! We're perfect for each other. Do you mind if I kiss you right now? Well, gee, we are on TV in front of millions of people. Okay. Oh, no, we're out of time? You sure, Freddy? Daniel, I spent too much time with Fred Travelina.